This class is the continuation of the previous class. We are continuing the chapter pressure of physics. And as I told you in previous class, I mapped this chapter pressure into 15 major points. And we are continuously dealing about each of the points. And in last class, I described up to this point number 6. Now I am starting with the point number 7, that is Archimedes principle. Let's start. What is Archimedes principle? Or if you are told to state Archimedes principle, you can say like this. When a body is partially or completely immersed in a liquid, it experiences an up thrust equal to weight of displaced liquid. This way we can write Archimedes principle. You can write uh, one mathematical notation also like this. Of thrust is equal to weight of displaced liquid. This is the heart of Archimedes principle. Now, after the uh, after the understanding of this this much, I mean to say the law uh, or principle. Now we have to prove this. I mean to say, how can we verify this Archimedes principle? Question may be verify Archimedes principle experimentally. Now we are talking about experimental verification of Archimedes principle. If you are told to verify, then what you are going to verify, you have to prove that of thrust is equal to weight of displaced liquid experimentally. Now, if it is experimentally, then uh, while writing, we'll make diagram and we'll describe about the experiment. In this way, look at this diagram. First, you have to draw this diagram. And in this diagram, what is shown, I want to tell you only, you don't have to describe everything about the diagram. What is the arrangement in this diagram? You have to understand. That's why I'm saying, look at this. First, a body is weighed in air. And then it is again weighed, emerging into water. And later side, look at this downside. What arrangement is made? Uh, an overflow can is completely filled with water up to the spout uh, and in it is just under the spout there is an empty beaker which is placed on the top and balance and in second diagram look at this now when this body is immersed into this water then it displaces a certain amount of water and this displaced water goes out through the spout and is collected in this beaker and combined weight of displaced water and beaker is taken in second figure in this figure you don't have to describe all this you have to make the diagram and you can start this way as shown in the diagram a body is first weighed in air in bracket write on w1 and the same is again weighed in water in bracket you write w2 uh, in the meantime the weight of the empty beaker and beaker with displaced water is also noted down. After saying this much, the weight of empty beaker is W3 and weight of uh, uh, beaker with displaced water is W4. Now, after this, you have to go through certain mathematical expression like this. Weight of the body in air is, let's say W1, and weight of the body in water is W2. Now, what is off thrust? Off thrust is equal to weight of the body in air minus weight of the body in water. That's why we can write w, off thrust equal to W1 minus W2. Now after this, weight of the empty beaker is to, taken as W3 and weight of the beaker plus displaced water was taken as W4 in the diagram. Now, what is the weight of displaced water? This is equal to W4 minus W3. W4 minus W3. After writing this much, now we can argue at the bottom what? What argument? Experimentally, W1 minus W2 is found to be equal with W4 minus W3. It means of thrust is equal to weight of displaced water. It verifies Archimedes principle because Archimedes principle states that of thrust is equal to weight of displaced liquid. Okay, this way we can verify Archimedes principle experimentally. But I want to mention a few things 
uh, you have to remember number one Archimedes principle is true for both the bodies whether it is floating or sinking it is true for floating body also or the body is sinking also now next point is Archimedes principle is true not only for liquid it is true for uh, gas also that's why Archimedes principle is applicable for fluid so after this much understanding I want to again tell you something related to the diagram sometimes some question related to diagram comes in examination just for example in, uh, in, in this diagram if a body is shown to be weighed in water and its weight is given let's say weight of the body in water is given weight of the body in water is given it is 12 Newton 12 Newton and the weight of the displaced water is if given it is 2 Newton let's say now this is weight of the body in water this is weight of displaced water and if this diagram is given in the examination and you are told to calculate the weight of the body in air and mass of the body then you can use this equation of thrust is equal to weight of the body in air minus weight of the body in water and look at this of thrust is equal to weight of displaced liquid that's why you can take 2 newton here and weight of the body in water can be taken as 12 newton and weight of weight in air can be calculated this way uh, we can calculate weight of the body in air now a stone of mass how can we calculate mass mass can be calculated by using this formula w equal to mg value of g we know what is it 9.8 meter per second square and weight of the body in air is found to be uh, 12 plus 2 14 newton by the calculation we can take here 14 newton we can take here 9.8 meter per second square mass can be calculated this way we can solve numerical problem related to diagram also in the same way i want to tell you something more about the tricky questions look at this let's say a table is given and what is written let's say a b and c are different medium one of them is air another is water another is saturated solution of salt and uh, looking at this weight which medium is a which one is b which one is c anything can be asked in examination maybe b only or c only now how to identify the weight of a body becomes maximum in air because in air the off thrust of air is very less on the body so uh, the weight will be more but in case of water when the same is uh, immersed in water and weight is taken then water applies off thrust the off thrust of water is more than air that's why weight of the body reduces than that of the but when the same body is immersed in saturated solution of salt then weight of displaced saturated solution of salt will be more than weight of displaced water and how much weight of displaced saturated solution uh, is by this uh, body that much weight reduces that's why the maximum weight will be in air and minimum is in saturated solution of salt and uh, in the middle it will be uh, water that's why what is the maximum weight 20 newton this b represents weight of the body in air what is the minimum value of weight 15 newton the off thrust of saturated solution of salt is greater than water that's why uh, off thrust x against the weight that's why uh, weight is minimum so a is saturated solution of salt in the same way c is water this way we can answer the question now let's talk about one region important region question related to Archimedes principle if you are told to write why a balloon filled with light gas rises up then how can you answer according to Archimedes principle let's say this is a balloon a balloon displaces the weight of air more than its own weight a balloon 
filled with light gains displaces the air, weight of the air, more than its own weight. And according to Hadmi's principle, of thrust is equal to weight of displaced fluid. That's why the of thrust, that is the weight of the displaced air, will be more than the weight of the balloon filled with light gas. Since of thrust is more, weight is weight of the balloon is less. That's why resultant force x in the vertically upward direction. That's why a balloon rises up. This way we can answer. Now, lastly, I want to talk about the uses of Archimedes principle. If you are told to write for what purpose Archimedes principle is used, we can write few examples. Just one: building of hydrometer for the measure uh, for the moment of submarine in the sea. Submarine has to emerge more sometimes. Sometimes it has to emerge less, and that is done by using Archimedes principle to fly the hot air balloon. Sometimes we have to fly to greater height, sometimes we have to fly to low height and it is done by using Archimedes principle to move a ship into water from land. Don't be confused, this hydrometer is a device which is used to measure density of the liquid. This way we can write some uh, application or uses of Archimedes principle. Uh, this was for today. Another class will continue with principle of rotation or law of rotation.